Tim Kirchin uh, joins us now. And Timmy's going to cover the Nats series. Jean McManus, who is sitting to my right, said she saw you in Harris Teeter. Jean, where did you Too see Too scared Tim? to approach, Yeah, apparently. last Sunday. Well, I was in line, and he was leaving, and he doesn't know me. So Crab what? legs in his pants? What did he get? What do you have? <laughs> Tim, do you, do you remember this last Sunday being in Harris Teeter? Well, I go to the grocery store virtually every day. I I'm love home. the grocery store. I I am... love to go to the refugee Safeway and walk among the aisles. I love walk shopping in supermarkets. I don't like shopping anywhere else. Same here. I love supermarkets. Tim, do you love them too? I wouldn't say that, but I'm in charge of those things around the house. I right. do all the cooking. I'm terrible at cooking, but I do it all, so I have to shop for it. As Barcel said, if I'm going to cook the dinner, <laughs> I have to go get the groceries. So right. That's kind of how it works. Can I ask what might be a very personal question? If you're terrible at the cooking, why do you do all the cooking? Well, <laughs> somebody's got to do it. So <laughs> I served ketchup as a vegetable the other day, Tony. It's really... <laughs> It's so great. It's so great to go grocery shopping to compare prices. Like, let's just say the Refugee Safeway had grapefruit juice, which it regularly does not. And it had two or three different kinds of grapefruit juice. Then I could compare the prices because grapefruit juice is, after all, grapefruit juice. And I could buy the one for three sixty nine instead of $4. It would, that is so yeah, great, pleasant Grapefruit juice, not really a you-get-what-you-pay-for <laughs> venture, no. right? I mean, grapefruit juice is grapefruit it's juice. It's all 100% grapefruit juice. is 100% grapefruit juice. Tim, what, what do you like to shop for? You must like to shop. Something must please you. Um. Well, I like to go through the vegetable aisle and yeah. see how good the avocados are. Cause I love avocados. So that's right. My, that's my new thing to see uh, which Safeway is much cheaper than at Harris Teeter for avocados. But I don't care. I'm buying them no matter what because I eat a lot of them now. Do you go organic or Super just food, sort of you know. regular? I go regular Me too. because my – I'm my, afraid of organic and the berries – Get rotten quicker, the organic ones. Yeah. They do. And, and again, I just eat for fuel, Tony, not necessarily for taste. I'm just trying to get filled up so I can get through the day. That's the way I work it because, I, <laughs> like I said, I stink at it. <laughs> this is rapidly approaching our best baseball segment ever, I, guess. I would say. <laughs> Tim Kirkton is going to join us now. Now, Tim is a friend, and he's been very good about being on this show. He probably doesn't listen to this show and he because he's got a, a He life, works. And he yeah. probably doesn't know all of the great songs that are written about all of the people that are on this show. Not just about me and my likes or dislikes, but the continuing expanding cast and universe of this show, which people write songs about. This is a song about Tim Kirchin. Talking groceries with Tim Kirchin, trading tips how to save a dime. Tony loves the refugee Safeway, grapefruit juice for three sixty nine. These two guys supposed to be sports pros, price and fruit and avocados. <laughs> Timmy says he just eats for fuel. Are they gonna talk nationals? Oh, hey Jeannie, look out now. There's Timmy over by the cashier <laughs> Cruising at Harris Teeter Every day he's gonna be there Says he can't cook to save his life How brilliant <laughs> is this song by John Fitzpatrick? Really? Go ahead. More. Ain't no use in complaining Tony's got a show to do who knows what they'll talk about next time? Hey, Tim, you like fondue? <laughs> Listening to this lame podcast. Delays sometimes will last forever. Oh, and when you tell this tale, fine line between stupid and clever. Who cares about your fruit juice price? <laughs> oh, yeah. Grapefruit juice for three sixty nine. <laughs> okay, now you've been on a lot of shows, and you've done a lot of TV and a lot of radio. You've been a writer for a long time, but you've never, ever been immortalized in song for just going to the Harris Teeter. <laughs> Is that great? That is so funny. I can't believe it. That is 
so clever. Oh, God. I, it's, that is so stupid. I can't believe it's part of it. It's so great. And we have one. We have. I mean, virtually everybody on the show has a song now. The song that we play for Carville, this Johnny Cash song that somebody did for us, it's, it's just... This is what the people do, and you can. We'll send it to you. You can put it on your phone if you want. It's just it, it, this is a small snippet of your life. I mean, next to the sausage race, it has to be a career highlight, right, Tim? It's a song about you. It's great. Yeah, grapefruit juice for three sixty nine. It's the Brian Adams song. It's just it's. So we wanted to make you happy. We don't even want to talk to you. I mean, no, I mean we'll talk to you, but. Seriously, I mean honestly, it's it's this is what the listeners do all the time. It's fantastic. It is. It's fantastic. Tony, this is this is ridiculous. I I do listen, and apparently other people do. Adam Kilgore of the Post came up to me and said, "Hey, I heard your spot on Tony. I love avocado too." <laughs> We're in the middle of the the NLDS. We're talking about avocados. <laughs> See, it's just. It's great. I mean, sports is fine. We all love sports, but there's a certain life thing. All right, so we'll get to sports. This is the Tony Kornheiser Show. The Tony Kornheiser Show. We have yet another Tim Kirsten. Dinner old. time comes on a cold and gray MLB morning. Tim Kirsten desperately looks for avocado. <laughs> <laughs> And his wife cries Cause if there's one thing that she don't need It's a hungry kitchen in desperate need of avocado <laughs> <laughs> It gets better all the time Littles don't you understand That kitchen needs a helping hand Or he's gonna be a sad analyst today Or take a look at you and me are we too blind to see? Or do we simply shake our heads and offer him some green? <laughs> well, it's dinner time. <laughs> Big finish now. It's and a hungry cookchen with a hankering is out in the street in desperate need of avocado. <laughs> avocado. <laughs> Brilliant. It's All right. Brilliant. It's in the ghetto. This is, uh, John Welsh does the vocals. Is it Ruth Barajas? Rich Barajas. Rich, Rich Barajas, because yes, yeah. I can't read your Bad handwriting. Right. Rich Terrible Barajas yes. does the lyrics, avocado. and John Welsh does the vocals yes. on avocados. <laughs> Timmy, how'd you like that? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I've covered baseball for 35 years. Now I'm recognized for two stupid songs on your radio show. Well, it's only two now, Tim, but we'll have you on next week. And we'll, yeah, we'll be we'll 200 soon. Yeah. We'll have another song soon. You have a, a couple of weeks to go with the baseball because it's like 30-day layoff before the World Series starts. 